first project in this sort of new era for me, uh, it's called Moon Killer. And Moon Killer is a project that's been maybe close to three years in the making. And it's a, um, I guess you'd call it a duo, sort of a band duo thing. Um, it's me and my longtime friend, Gannon Arnold. Gannon and I go back 19 years ago, maybe. I was the drummer in his band. And then... As I started getting this hunger to write songs... And started getting real, kind of overly opinionated and going like, Man, what about this for your song? He's like, you need to write your own songs, buddy. So... That really was like, ooh. Yeah, maybe I should. And I started writing my songs, and he was super supportive and gave me a few pointers about, um, you know, song structure and a little bit of the craft of things, and I had been watching him write songs. And uh, so that set me off on my singing and songwriting thing, is um, kind of owe that first little nudge to Gannon. So anyways, all these years later, Gannon and I have started this band called Moon Killer. And it, we didn't really start a band, it's sort of slowly became a band um, and was born out of I would say a sort of co-frustration and co-anger and co a lot of things um, we'd be working on various records for other artists or bands um, I won't name any names but we'd be working on these records and we'd run into the classic music industry sort of um, BS that you run into uh, and we'd hit some pretty frustrating moments and often it would be something about a creative direction or we'd get these notes from various sources and it would none of it would make sense and it would just seem like people's hearts weren't in the right place and they weren't really listening or just things that probably every producer goes through but um, we needed an outlet. So what we started doing is, you know, there was one particular day where we had a run in with somebody and and I felt the need to write about it and I felt so comfortable, you know, usually when I write songs that are personal for me, it's by myself only and I it's very solitary. But I feel so comfortable with Gannon and we're such tight friends that I just decided like, all right, let's let's do this, man. Let's just write a song and get this out and so we, we ended up you know he started writing a riff and I instantly grabbed you know my computer and started writing lyrics and we just let it just come out he would do the riffs I'd do the vocals and the melodies and we'd just hammer it out in the course of you know probably three or four hours later we had the whole song and the whole track and I'd mixed it and it was done and it was like incredibly cathartic and super fun and there's a lot of aggression in it um, and a lot of sarcasm and just it was had a lot of the things in it that him and I both love about music and where we kind of come together we come from a lot of different you know musical influences he's really into the 70s and um, Jeff Beck and Led Zeppelin and um, XTC and Yes and all these different bands and I'm into some of those bands too and um, but I also really love, you know, Soundgarden and and Muse and, and bands like that too. So we came together with this rock sound and this attitude that that really blended well. And and um, so, anyways, every three four months or something, we'd run into another situation like that, and it would just be like we need. Um, I started calling it like audio ginger, you know, when you're eating sushi and you're supposed to eat ginger in between to like clean your palate this was our audio ginger. It was like, okay, it's time to just like, bam, let out, let off some steam, let off the pressure, 
and do something we absolutely love and do it fast and make quick gut instinct decisions. And so anyways, flash forward two and a half, three years later, we end up with a full album of this stuff. And one of the first songs, if not the first song, that we did is a song called Moon Killer. And every time I came back to that song, I felt like we had sort of taken a snapshot of the energy and the the release and the fun and the but the attitude and the just the ballsiness of it all was all there in that song and in the other songs too. So anyways, we have we have a full album now and we've made the decision we're going to just put it out and if one of you out there enjoys this thing and cranks it up in your car and drives around and ha and just and feels what what we put into it then boom success for us and if it's more than one person then we couldn't be happier so hope you guys will check this record out and we're gonna try to have some fun with it and you know make some videos some fun sort of expressionistic sort of music video type things for it but also um, based on your interest and what you guys you know ask for whether it's you know Facebook Twitter whatever however you guys want to respond we'd love to just sort of give you what you guys are looking for if you guys want to have Gannon teach you the guitar riff we'll make a video for that if you want to see some other kind of craziness anything you know anything regarding any of the craft side of things the recording of it um, the mixing of it, the drumming, the, the writing, you know, the stories behind the songs, um, whatever part of the story we can we can tell, we're into it. So this record is, um, you know, we've done that first 50% where it's all about us. Now this next 50% is all about you guys, um, the hopeful potential fans of Mooncaller. And uh, this is not the last record we're going to do. So hopefully uh, you guys will stay on board for a long time. Talk to you soon.